know they're bringing out a new basket of Christmas. Oh, I see a cute owl bank. You're adorable. Let's see what we got on the wood shelf. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. It's like a cedar. And this is how it turns here. Almost looks like a homemade piece. We got a little sisal owl. been a reseller for nearly 40 years and I can't imagine my life without thrifting. I've learned about a lot of things over the years and I love to share my knowledge and adventures with you. So let's go be profitable and make it fun. I am back at my home base Goodwill. I don't know if this will continue to be my home base Goodwill. I'm gonna have to look at that. I forgot. I'm moving. Hmm. I'll still come to this one. It just may not be the one I come to the most. I don't know. I don't know. Uh, life is getting a little interesting. Yes. Have I started to pack yet? No. I promised you I would put it on video. Uh, but I'm still catching up for being gone for a week in Arizona and Lots of stuff happening at the store. I redid like the whole front section. And thank you if you left a comment on my Monday video where I did ask for help and I asked for suggestions. Thank you, because I'm listening to everything. Now those of you who uh, took the opportunity to take a dig at me, whatever. <laughs> Telling me I'm boring is not constructive criticism. I will just say that. Oh my goodness. If I'm boring, I would say don't watch. Uh, but to those of you who truly gave me constructive criticism, I have listened, I have implemented some of those things already, and I think you'll be pleasantly surprised going forward. Now, with that being said, uh, I know, I know, I really need merch that says I'm gonna be picky. But no, truly, 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 I have got to be picky uh, because number one, it's over 100 degrees now. Dragging a bunch of stuff, you know, from the car in any place, not fun. So it's, again, we get that thing called the hassle factor that's gotta be built in. So hassle factor will be considered, uh, value to flip will be considered, and I will be making some very prudent choices in my purchasing today. So with that, let's get inside, let's get shop done. The parking lot is very, very full, and I had to park farther away than I usually have to park. So I'm a little nervous. Uh, it is Wednesday, which is senior day. We get 40% off if we were over the age of 55, uh, and I don't normally come in the morning. So we'll see what happens. Oh my goodness, there's hardly any lucky carts, but I think this is mine over here. All right. It's a rolling. Let's go. Right inside the door, they've got these anthropology plates here. It's a set of four for $30. Now, the last time I looked up anthropology plates, some of them were going for like 50 bucks each or so. So I'm probably going to give these a look up because that's not bad. That's uh, 30 divided by four. That's like, you know, a little under $8 per plate. Actually, I think I'm just going to go ahead and, uh, mark these as mine. And since we're up here, we'll take a peek at the jewelry. Now that one has my attention. Now, I, I don't know a lot about jewelry, but I feel like the backing on that piece says it's older, just with the rivet, and it is $3.99 with that 40% off also. So I'm gonna have them pull that one for me. Let's see what else is in here. Ooh, that's a cool vintage pin. We will have him pull that one for me. Do I see a Snow White watch? Or a Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs? Let's see if I can see it a little better. I, it's $7.99, but I get 40% off, so I'm gonna have him pull that one for me also. 
How fun, 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 fun. Uh, blue is the 50% off color. It would be $4 for that multi-strand beaded number. I'm not sure if I want that one. And this is, I think, newer, contemporary. It was pretty colorful ones. I like them, but um, not high resale value. Oh my goodness, what's going on here? What do we got? Those look like, they almost look like hematite beads. That one is $9.99. I feel like Dawn of Hudson Vintage would be saying, Danny, you better buy that. Let me know, let me know, Dawn, down in the comments. I'm gonna pick it up for 10 bucks. Let me know if I did good. Let's look over on this side too. There are some rings. That's another little vintage piece there. Oh, let's see, let's see. I do like the hummingbird. I think I will grab the hummingbird. He's $2.99. Nice, I finally got some decent pieces of jewelry from a Goodwill trip. Yay! That hasn't happened for a while. Let's see, I don't really get into the gold. I don't know why. I just, the gold stuff just kind of was like, meh for me. Because it's not, it's not real gold. If it was real gold, it wouldn't be meh. Alright, so our color is blue for 50% off, but everything else today is going to be 40% off except for red tags. Red tags do not get discount. Oh, and black tags. Oh no, black tags, yeah, black tags do get the 40%. That's right. Oh boy, here we go. We are Christmas in July at all of the stores now. Stemless wine glasses, $3.99. Those are adorable and they're blue and they're gnomes. We will grab those. I know you're saying, well, Danny, right off the bat, you're not being very discriminating, but right off the bat that's like a gift like i can give someone so that's all what's going through my head too what is a car buddy reindeer he literally just he has no legs he just sits in the car for use in car only okay that's that's just weird <laughs> no you cannot ride in the carpool lane with the car buddy it doesn't count i know people will try though if nothing else to make a TikTok video, you know. Oh, this crazy video age that we live in. Kids, you know, even 20 years ago, could probably never could have imagined their parents like uh, waking up and having a camera and like, oh wait, let me get that on video. Oh, they're bringing out a new basket of Christmas. The old man head knocker. That is a Christmas story. Look, I'll get it right this time because it's right in front of me. So we will go ahead and grab him with his fragile vase. No, lamp. See? My brain still messes it up. And let's see, is there any more? Those are cute. Those look vintage. Little Christmas stocking holders, but they're very lightweight, so they really wouldn't hold a stocking really well. Oh, there's another. Oh, this is fantastic. Look at it's Ralphie. It's the Ralphie head knocker. Ha <laughs> ha, that's great. And there's glass ornaments, European style glass ornaments. Let's see. I mean, we all do it now. I've got Christmas in July going in my store too. It's just a thing now. That's really cute. $4.99. Don't need it, don't need it. What are you? You light up. You're very broken though. Oh, that's unfortunate. It doesn't, it's not like a Department 56, so that's good. Christmas tree. I like this Christmas tree. I like this Christmas tree a lot. I'm gonna grab that. Okay, as I said, it's a little bit crowded in here today. That's one of those pillow pet mini mouses lots of gnomes i have plenty i have plenty of gnomes i'm going to leave those for now i'm having a little cart envy at some of the people walking by they've got some really cute things in their cart but i don't need them i don't need them 
I might need another one of these uh, singing Christmas trees. These actually sell really well. Is this the Jemmy? Um, all copyright reserved. Oh, it is made in Hong Kong. This, this is a vintage one, but I don't see the Jemmy name on there. We don't know if it works, so we're taking a risk, but it's $4.99 minus 40%, so we can take that risk. I promise I won't start every video with the Christmas, even though most stores are putting it like right up front. I'll mix it up. I'll try not to be boring. No, I really, really, I really try not to be boring. I've got a little uh, made in China nativity pieces in there. And you, nope. All right, let's keep going. One more little section of Christmas here and then we get on to glassware. Ooh, what is this guy doing? I'm not quite sure what his story is. There's a family guy set of glasses. Ooh, those are heavy, see? Now the heaviness of that kind of steers me away because that would be like a probably like a four pound package which is going to be a considerable considerable amount of shipping and that's going to lower the selling price because a buyer has to take that into consideration so i'm going to leave those oh we interrupt going to these shelves to see what's coming out on the cars okay i don't see looks like they've already got the exciting stuff out on the shelves it's already out there. Now we have to go find it. Yes. Okay. Let's go do that. Oh my goodness. I really, I get a little anxious when the store is this busy. That says Laura Schwartz. It's a blue tag. So it's 50% off. So I'm wondering like why, why this cute little Laura Schwartz guy is still sitting here for $1.50. And I'm getting more and more to wanting to just sell small stuff on whatnot since they've kind of messed up the whole shipping thing. Having an issue with them right now with shipping big things that I have to combine with other things. Uh, stay tuned for more info on that if you're a reseller. Um, but $1.50 for the little Laura Schwartz, I think I will pick him up. I see this over here is interesting. I'm not sure what would have sat right here. Oh, look it, it holds. Do you think that holds like a, it's too short to hold a wine bottle though. I don't know. You know what, I'm gonna leave him. I'm gonna leave him, I may regret that. Let's see, any clear glass that is pressed. That is a beautiful piece of antique glass. Ooh, I just really love that tray right there. Look at the lines, look at the shape. Gorgeous piece of 100 year old glass. We'll rescue that at $5.99. Ah, oh, we still have all the dream sickles here. Let's see, what are you? Little onyx chess pieces. Unfortunately, they're really, really chipped up. It's a cute little pottery planter but nothing super special. Rocks, $4.99. Red tag on the rocks. I do like using that. There's some like nice rocks in here, like some sodalite. I think that's like a jadeite in there. There's some amethyst. You know what? I am gonna pick that up for five bucks. I can use this. Let's see, we've still got the acorn here. I wonder what's broken off there. Pollen mold. Oh, I see a cute owl bank. You're adorable. You're nuts. Oh, you're a Josh Stevens Foundation Tinker. Mm, that's a very specific collectible piece. Start each day with a grateful heart. Without faith, miracles can't happen. Ooh, those are so true. I like those. what we got over here. It's a little bathroom set. It's pretty, but it's contemporary. I can leave that. See, look, now my, now my picky button is uh, setting in. It's got to. 
it's got to set in. I start seeing stuff in my cart and I'm going, oh no, 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 Danny, be careful. So now I got to be a little bit more careful. But then I'll get the comments going, oh, would you go back and get that piece or that piece or that piece? And so what I do with that, I don't make a special trip back to the store, but if it's still here, the next time I come, I will grab it. Let's see what we got on the wood shelf. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Today is going to be a great day. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. A little perpetual wooden calendar somebody's put some stickers on it which can be taken off i like it looks like a cedar and this is how it turns here almost looks like a homemade piece you know what they're falling out i will rescue them never fear because i am going to buy this piece it is an older piece so uh, and i like the wood the wood is a quality wood that they made that out of that is why i picked that up it will have some appeal. I swear that came from an estate sale that I went to where I saw one of those. It was like a private estate sale. That video will be coming out in the very near future, so make sure you're subscribed and hit that little bell notification if you haven't already. All you need is love and a dog. The vintage dictionary art. Oh my gosh, this costs like almost nothing and it's so sweet. This will probably just go at the store. Oh goodness gracious. That's fun. Looks like Hobby Lobby. Yep, it was $9.99 at Hobby Lobby. Oh, look at that. That's a great price. Great price, Goodwill. I'm not buying it, but somebody definitely will at that price point. This is interesting. A little driftwood, like a ship's wheel with shells embedded. I mean, it's missing a couple shells, but those are easily replaced. I'm looking at the foundation of it is in really good shape, actually. And I found that these driftwood pieces do quite well on eBay. So $7.99 minus 40%, I'm grabbing it. Because one thing you know about me is I have plenty of shells that I can fix that up with. This is a cute little jewelry box. It's got a lot of drawers on that jewelry box. And it's got the little dancing ballerina in there. Let's see. Where's the wind up on this? Oh, uh, wait. Oh, no. Let's see. Let's see. <gasps> she works. She works. Oh, she plays the Nutcracker Suite. How much are you? $4.99 minus 40%. Okay, it's going in the cart. I hear you guys laughing at me. I hear it. Believe me, it does not go unnoticed. <laughs> what do you do, though, when you find so much cool stuff? Like, what do you do? Robert Wallen, Mary Englebright. I thought it was Mary Englebright. So this must be, like, an artist that... Maybe, I don't know how those two names go together. I'm looking for a date on this. It is vintage and it is not priced. So it'll probably be like a buck 99, I'm gonna guess. So I'm gonna grab that. We've got a little sisal owl. He's a little ragged. He's missing a few parts and pieces. Stand back up there, buddy. Let's see what else we got. I can tell you one good thing that happens when it's this busy, there is such a rumble of voices in the background that I generally don't have to worry about music coming through because the, uh, the bots cannot really decipher the music with all of the other background noise. But it's also like really busy too. Which it's not the most calm and fun shopping experience for me personally. What is your preference? Do you mind a crowd? Do you do okay with a crowd? Or are you like me and you'd like really prefer not to deal with a crowd? Liffy artifacts, handcrafted in Ireland. Is that like some Irish symbol? 
It's $10. Red tag, no discount. All right, we'll leave that one. Okay, let's look in the fakery and see what we've got. I've been finding some pretty good pieces lately. It always goes like in phases. Sometimes you just find absolutely nothing and the next thing you know, the shelf is stuffed full of great items. But today is not one of the great item days. All right, we're gonna skim through plastics real quick. See, I'm not gonna pick this up. Whereas on another day I might've picked this up. It is a little vintage ice bucket. It is also $7.99 red tag. So that would be another reason not to pick it up. All right, I don't see anything in the plastics today. Come over here to the cookware. What is this? Outset. That is cast iron and that is heavy. I'm not sure what you do with that. Not sure. Oh, look at the little mini muffin pan. I can't wait to get out to Jordan's and taste some of her homemade bread. That's been like her new obsession is making homemade bread, especially sourdough. Oh, I want some homemade sourdough bread. So Jordan, if you're watching, better have some bread when I get out there. I'm only going to be out there for one day. It's going to be a whirlwind turnaround trip. I'm really just going to pick up Rachel who is going to spend some time with her sister. Those are interesting. Oh, no, I don't need this. I don't need this. All right, pots and pans. Nothing exciting except maybe this one. Probably that Perini. Ooh, you're in really bad shape too. Wait, what are you? You are... I don't know what that is, but it's, I don't even know how that happens. How does that even happen? All right. The dishes section looks like it's just recently been cleared out to make room for new stuff. Studio Nova. That's kind of have a nice retro vibe to them. Not a, exciting for me to deal with, but might be exciting if somebody else finds those on the shelf. Andrea by Sedeck. I didn't even know they made plates. Who knew? These remind me of John Deere. Oh, you mean they're like the John Deere yellow and green. None of them are signed. I mean, if that's your, if that's your thing, those would totally fit into your decor. Glassware would have to be really, really special today. I mean like really, oh, see one of my employees names is Patty and she is so fantastic. She's the one who makes the shelves look so pretty, but I don't know if she's a wine drinker or I would get that for her. Maybe I'll have to find out today and come back and get it if it's still here. We love Patty. I think I've got Patty convinced to do a whatnot sale with me too. So you'll get to meet and be introduced to the adorable Patty. Okay, I don't see anything happening in this section today. Little toothpicks, well, they're a little bit too tall for toothpicks, but they're like little miniature vases. Nothing too special, though. Oh, that's a fun cat mug. A spectrum design. I'm just not, no, I'm not going to pick up mundane mugs. And if I pick up a mug, it's got to be worth like, you know, at least 20, 30 bucks. It's going to be my general rule 20, 30 bucks if I pick up a mug today. I'm just going to take a peek at this. No, nope, it's not marked. Little pine cone pattern. I know um, Noritaki makes a pine cone pattern, but I don't think that's it. I'm having to kind of wind my way around the store and go a little bit out of my normal order because there's so many people in the aisles. I just have to remember where I haven't been yet so I can get back there and look. Okay. 
Oh, nothing on the mishy mashy shelves. No. Little block sets. What are these? Learning resources. There's like six of them in each one of these. Interesting. Ah, I guess you do get all the the teacher supply stuff ends up being donated at the end of the school year. Forgot we're at the end of the school year. That is a big mouse pad and I'm trying to figure out what the character is because it's Pokemon. It's Pokemon. I have another one that I've been meaning to like put again trying to just diversify a little bit and uh, just on whatnot not on my other selling venues. I stay very very tight to my niche on those. Uh, but I do like to have fun and play with some other stuff. So because I get 40% off, I'm going to grab the Pokemon mouse pad. And if you guys have not invested in one of like the full desk size mouse pads, I can highly recommend it. I love it. Never have to worry about my mouse coming off of the mouse pad. All right, now we can get over here to more of the kitchen stuff. Look at those. Those are acrylic handled with little bubbles in them. I don't know who makes those, but that's for me it's not enough to deal with. Pass on that. Uh-oh. Got a little gridlock here again. I'm stuck. Vintage. If it says vintage, it's probably not. Okay. Pretty piece. Way too big to deal with. Oh, there's more. I wish one of these would be marked. Oh look. There's something. Hmm, not enough to make out. Wait, what does that one say? Don't know. There's a lot of it though. Interesting piece. That's a hobbyist piece. You can see they signed it 92. This is a little bean pot, mid century, but these don't bring a lot of money. Again, I think the weight of it has something to do with it. There's the bottom. I find these pretty often. It's a leave behind, even though it does look like it should be worth something. And there's some transferware pheasants. Queens made in England. On another day, I might pick those up, but again, that's one of those just don't want to deal with it in this time of my life. We'll take a peek over here at the lamps. Now I see nothing exciting. Oh gosh, remember these? Remember these make your own lamp kind of thing? I do like the shells in there, but not enough to deal with uh, taking that lamp apart and getting them out of there. Again, we got a warmer. It is a Scentsy, but it's just, you know, it's just plain, plain black warmer. It's not gonna be worth a whole bunch. And I don't see anything else over here in the small appliances. Oh, they've just straightened out all the art and it's all nice and neat except for the few little stacks people have gone through already. Oh, are you a... Nope, you're just a print. You're just a print. Let's see. Nothing there. A nice leaded glass. No, it's not even. A, that's just a... It's made to look like it, but that's a contemporary piece where they just put that metal on the front. Yep, there. Like a Hobby Lobby. Hobby Lobby piece. Interesting little piece of art. Somebody was proud of their art, which they should be. Except for the fact that it ended up at Goodwill. That's always a sad thing. All right, nothing else screaming at me. All right, anything cool in the pillows? Nope. Not today. Kind of a pretty rug though. Quick little jaunt down the tablecloths aisle. That's placemats, not tablecloths. And then pillowcases. No, no. It's kind of pretty. Don't need it though. Still on the hunt for my Indian sari 
patchwork curtains. I know they're going to show up. I just have to keep my eyes open for them. And let's look up here. I always like to look at what the sealed puzzles are. Ready to run Daniel Ridgeway night. It's kind of nice. But not like super valuable. It's a neat bag. Why are you over here? Did somebody put you over here? Because you might be worth something and they're saving you for later. Sometimes that happens, but no. The quality just isn't there. Elmo hurt his back. <laughs> okay, 40% off day. Does bode well for finding some purses. Normally, you know, they're priced at like $12.99. So that puts them a little bit out of reseller reach. But now they look pretty, pretty much like somebody like went straight here this morning and picked them over. Which is cute. Oh, except for the Laurel Birch. Laurel Birch even has the little fob. Oh, this one's half price. It's a little slightly faded, but not bad enough not to pick it up for five bucks. That's colorful. Oh my, oh my, my. Very colorful. Purses are a look and, and or a feel. Like sometimes the feel of it can go, ooh. Sometimes it's the look of it that makes you go, ooh. Purses are, they're interesting. You know, like watermelon Mickey Mouse heads for, oh, 10 bucks. Even, yeah, even at six bucks, it's more than I would want to spend on that. And my guesstimate is it sells for 12 to 15. Not all Disney is super high priced. Tignanello, Tignanello is a good brand. This one's got a pretty substantial amount of wear and tear to it though. So I think we'll pass. If that had been in better shape, I would have picked that up. Ooh, sparkly red, uh, uh, red, black velvet kitty cat. It's very Betsy Johnson-esque. I guess. Oh, that's ripped. Ooh, who are you? Who are you? Sergio's collection. Hmm, let's take a closer look with this kind of the fur pattern. I can tell it's real leather. Let me get over to my cart where I can actually set it down and look at it a little closer. It's got this, oh, wait, is that supposed to be like that or is that, no, well, no, I think that's how it's made. I actually think that's how that edge is made because it's still attached. Maybe not, maybe not. Is it too much? Mmm. This is where I get into a quandary. Because it's a pretty cool purse for... Ugh. What is that? I can't do the math in my head and talk at the same time. And there's really loud music. So I can't stop talking. Stand by. Okay, it would be $7.80. So it would still be 8 bucks. Condition-wise, I think I have to pass on it. But I do. I, I really like it. I wish I didn't have to pass on it. But I do. We'll leave that for somebody else. Okay, we're going to head to the checkout. I got my aquarium guy coming this morning. And frankly, I'm feeling a little anxiety being in such a crowded environment. So stay tuned for the recap. I'll tell you everything I bought, how much I paid, and how much it's worth. That's coming up right now.
like to shop around, but fun. Yes. Um, I'm trying to hit these stores in the morning because we are into our triple digit summer temperatures now. In fact, it's, um, it's morning. Uh, it's about 1130 and we're already at 94 degrees. I suspect we're going to hit about eh, 106, 107 today. Yeah, I'd prefer not to uh, be out in that. <laughs> so, um, yeah, stay tuned for more morning shopping. It's so different. It's so different. Anyways, I'm heading to the store to get some work done. You go be profitable and make it fun. Yeah.